Hello, my name is Shugi and welcome to Control. Now, I have played a little bit of this game before, but I never actually went through and finished it. And I forgot that I owned the game and then I installed it again because I remember like, man, I remember playing this game and it was really fun and I had a lot of fun playing it and I put a lot of time into it. And then I stopped playing it for some reason. I don't know, maybe I just like took a break from it and then I forgot to play it again, which is really bad on my part, to be honest. But here we are, I'm going to start from the, from the beginning again. Fair warning. This is gonna be weirder than usual. What's the usual? Can't be helped. You called me. So here I am. Hello. Oh. The underwater? I know I shut you out sometimes. I'm always glad to hear from you. It's just that I get my hopes up. So oh, many that. times it's led to nothing. This building is so brutalist. Oh my I goodness. Found nothing. It is just concrete for like a mile above. It's like we live in a room and there's a poster on the wall. I oh, mean, you're really constructing a very we stare oh, Federal at Bureau it of and Control. We think that's the whole world. The room and the poster. This is a very abstract metaphor you're going for, Jesse. The picture's something nice. A landscape, a famous person. Like in that movie. What is it called? The prison movie. <laughs> the room's a cell. And the picture Hello. is Who are you? different for each of us. It can be beautiful or terrible. But we're all transfixed. Hello. Oh, uh, mm. Oh, but it's whoops. All a lie. Something to distract us from the truth. It's a pretty cool painting. They're lying to us. We are lying to ourselves. The room's not the world. The world is much bigger and much stranger. You really draw out this metaphor. There's you could just go outside, you know? Behind that poster that leads to the real world. Oh, you could just use the door. It's fine, we I guess. I feel safe in that room. But sometimes, <laughs> it looks so sometimes ominous. Something crawls out from behind the poster. Oh yeah, you really should have sealed that up a little bit better. The ants are gonna get in. see it happen, freak out, and try to forget what oh, they saw. you bunch of babies! You never seen a bug before. Hi, Jesse. I'm here. Yeah, in the Federal Bureau of Why Control. Why did you bring me here? I understand that you're the Federal Anyone Bureau here? of Control, but I feel like a Federal Bureau is, it's kind of, controlling stuff is kind of their whole point. So I don't know exactly you're controlling around here. Oh, knock the trash can over. Idiot, get out of here. Screw the bureaucracy. All right, ding dong, security check. Oh, remove outerwear, remove empty pockets, remove metals. Um, well, it looks like I'm not gonna do either of those things, wait. What's out over there? Oh! Oh! Uh, oh! Hey, I'm getting past security. Easy. I put into items on my door. Do I? Do I seriously need to read this? Um. Okay. I can't have rubber ducks or ketchup bottles. Any objects considered iconic representations of an archetypical concept? What is an art? What is an archetypical concept? Am I? Not, am I not able to wear things that are iconic? I so. I mean, like, you could argue, like, I can't bring my hairstyle in there, maybe. A leather jacket, you think I can bring that in there? It's an archetypical concept. Skinny jeans, that's an archetypical concept. Oh, you know what, I'm looking too much into this. Internal lockdown in effects. Multiple containment breaches detected. Head of research over, you know, for a place having multiple containment breaches and an internal lockdown, I was able to waltz in here pretty easily, and it is it seems surprisingly calm out here, but I think that's kind of what they want. Okay, this door is opening on its own, my goodness. Oh man, I go upstairs so fast. Hello? Oh. Oh, weird. Hello? It's so flickery in here. Bureau expenditures. Do I- do I really want to read this? Okay. Uh, 
blah, 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 blah. staffing, surveillance, blah, blah, blah. data center initiative, construction, blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. Is there anything in here that's like, I mean, there's obviously the censored stuff, but I'm not able to see if there's anything strange about the letter. Lovely to, oh, you're the thing that's flickering. Federal yes, Bureau of no. Control. I saw it a long time ago. I keep seeing it in my dreams. It's kind of weird dreams you're having. It's like, <laughs> it's like if I constantly had dreams of being in the FDIC or something like. But I guess this might be a little more serious than that. Hello, Colonel Sanders. What's up? Uh, Casper Darling, head of research. Well, he looks like a fine upstanding gentleman. Looks like maybe he could be the host of a zany kids show in the 90s that teaches kids about science. Hello, you're slightly more sleek looking. Zachariah Trench. Okay, director. Uh, here. Peekaboo. Oh, it's just the restroom. Hiya! Alright. Nothing in here. Federal Bureau of Control. Yeah, I did see that. All these years, I've been looking for them, and they were hiding in plain sight. Well, I don't know about plain sight. I mean, did you see how tall this concrete building was? Like, it, it's plain looking, but it's like so plain looking and so brutalist that it somehow sticks out. It like <laughs> like warps all the way back around to sticking out like a sore thumb because it's so ugly. Security order. Okay, maybe this reveals a bit more information. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, attention all nothings. A shark in his although secure permission to following basic protocol shoot to kill. Good luck. Thanks. Uh, will do, Captain. Man, so much is being revealed to me in this walk through the- through the- I was about to say through the forest. Through the forest of all knowledge. Alright, oh, you ain't got nothing that's, um, been blacked out. You should all know by now, the R4 report, it's not like R3. Like, reduce, reuse, recycle, what's the- what's the fourth R? Please request form r4.e from your supervisor. If you think it's up from- okay, so it's like some kind of form. It has absolutely nothing to tell me what an R4 is. Maybe if I worked in a job like this, I would I would know what an R4 is. I just kind of assumed it was a made-up form. Hello? <gasps> Company? Who's there? Can I enter this? Hello? Hi. Hey, excuse me. What's up? There you are. Hello. Uh, yes. Go to the interview. Go that way to the elevator. Okay. Elevator that way. Got it. Very good. I'm Ahti, the janitor, by the way. You work for me. Okie dokie. I sent you. If they don't hire you, they do. You are no elevator. There be work for the axe. Take them behind the sauna, you hold. Mm, it's awfully... I've done enough night shift loner jobs to know it makes us come off weird. Ati the janitor is a friendly face in my book. But I don't... Somebody with no face at all. <laughs> Think about it. No face. <laughs> what? That said. Uh -oh. I know what you're thinking. If there's an axe murderer around, that's him. But, uh, uh, what, what do you mean? Alti looks like such a hard, upstanding, hard-working guy. Look at him go. Look at him mop those floors. Yeah. He, va he gave a very rousing speech for me <laughs> to be interviewed for a janitor position. Okay, wait. 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 No, wait. This is right. Wait. No, wait. No, wait. No, this is different. Wait. Hold on. No, wait, no. That's not... That's not right. What? Wait, where did I come from? Over, over here? What? But it's close now. No, this, wait, no. Maybe this is just a different area and it's... But it has the same portrait. No, this is the... This is a room with the... This is the... This is the same... I... Mm, wait. What are you? Were you here before? Visitor evaluations. Okay. 
How to handle unscheduled visitors entering the lobby? Yeah, I mean, there's probably some people curious about the huge concrete structure that is very tall. Welcome to the Federal Bureau of Control, the FBC, established in 1964 as part of an effort to strengthen government relations. What does that mean? Effort to strengthen government relations with whom? Proud to serve the U.S. and her people as we strive for transparency and excellence. Ask them these questions. Are you here to see someone? Are you from New York? How'd you find this place? If their answers seem blah, 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 you couldn't even say the word suspicious. To a private room, Gunner's a psychological assessment. There's no such thing as too suspicious. Is there any such thing as not suspicious enough? I mean, sure. Hey guys, you guys notice anything weird about this building? The place outside is awfully detailed. I appreciate that. It is kind of strange that I just kind of walked in here on a closed day and there's nobody. This guy's still using a typewriter. Okay, you know what? I'm getting too distracted. I'm gotta, I'm gotta go. <laughs> Did, wait. If, if up there changed, did something else change? I don't know if that room was always there. I don't remember. But did like something else change about this place or... I don't know. This early into the game, I don't know if there'll be any changes. Wham! Take that, Ati. Alright. Ring a ding ding, let's go. The what button did I push? And the poster. I was 11 years old the first time I saw behind the poster. They told me I imagined it. I've been trying to pull it down ever since. Must be a strong poster. Will you help? Who, me? Courtney Hope, is that Jesse? I think there's supposed to be music playing during this section. But I muted the copyrighted music. This ambiance is just making it creepy, which is pretty good too. Oh man. Oh my goodness. Man, I'm getting excited. I forgot how good this game is, my goodness. It has such a great style. Directed by Dole. All right. Did I lose you there for a moment? Yeah. Um, you know what's on my wait, mind. Wait, hold on. My baby brother, Dylan. Dylan. Seventeen years since the men of this bureau took him. Ooh, lovely. Hot and spicy peanuts, crackers, trail mix. Ah, oh, right. Because they can't have anything that's like a stereotypical archetype or whatever, right? So they have to get these generic ones, which is an interesting qualification to have for anything. They did bring in the American flags and stuff, which are like symbols, right? So I don't, I'm not quite sure what what counts as archetypical or not. Hello? Should I be concerned about that? I mean, it's the first alarm I've heard, considering there there's a, multiple breaches. Hello? Can I read this? Proof technology reminder. Drafting of public facing material. Pending notifications of death related to Willow Awe. Please adhere to these. In the service, regret, pride, proud, will be remembered. Oh, interesting. Avoid saying Alaska scissors blood loss or apologies. Yeah, we don't say sorry for nobody. It'll be remembered, uh, but whatever happened, we ain't sorry for it. That was completely intentional. They knew what they were doing. Oh, it's you. Seek shelter. Wait, what, what else does that say? Zoom! It, like, have something that, that it says, like, this is an alarm for this thing. This is an alarm for this. Okay, I don't have any clearance yet. Hello? Hello? Oh man. Well, oh, it shows me stuff. I see. Nice tubes. Do not disturb, Trench. Isn't that the director, Zachariah Trench? Barbara, I am not to be disturbed. Cancel all my appointments for the rest of the day. For the rest of the week, I can't trust them. Not a single one. Well, um, that seems like a little paranoid, don't you think? I feel like as the director, you gotta trust your team. That's why you have them, but... Oh. 
Hello? Is there someone trying to get out? Should I open this door? Hello? Shit. Oh. Shit, shit, shit. Hey, hello? Oh. You want me to pick it up? The murder weapon? Really? The murder weapon? Wait, the murder weapon. It's interesting terminology because it, um, did look like this guy just, um, he took himself away, but you say murder, it's like implying that there's someone else, right? Do I want to pick this up? Why does this guy even have this in his... Okay, you know, fine. I'm sure he has plenty of reason. Intentionally left blank? Uh-oh. The board? Who's the Objects board? Of power can cause or be results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. Now, okay. The service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very an oop. powerful one. Ingrained My in the favorite oop. DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. What? Oh. Uh, oh. Oh, who's that pyramid? Is it talking to me? Oh, look at this place. Oh. Where, Where am I? That's what I was about to say. Wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. A lot happened just then. So there's this oop, an altered world event, which I think maybe causes oops. The, the objects of power. Or maybe the objects of power caused the world events. I don't quite remember which order it was, but... And this gun is one of them, and apparently only the director can wield it, and I suppose the board? Hello? The whatever Garble is saying, whatever... It doesn't seem to be matching what the thing's saying. I'm not sure what it's supposed to mean. It just seems like nonsense, but... Maybe if I go further, like, into the game, it'll start making more sense. So, I guess I have to complete a series of challenges because maybe, like, the weapon is testing me, right? It's probably testing me. It's, like, only the director, and I need to be worthy of being a director. Which means the Federal Bureau of Control is director. It's a federal agency, but the director is chosen not by the government, but by the board. Whoever the board is, and is this thing the board? Like, do they live in here? Or is it a creature? And it's a lot of questions. Hi, coal creature. Melee. Pow! Oh my goodness. How did I know just to do that? Hello. Pow! Idiot. Got him. Nice. <gasps> the gun. I'm getting this so early. Well, yes. Control the gun house. You got it. Oh. Nice. Oh, here comes okay. the geometry. Now I have a gun. How powerful is this thing? And what does it shoot? Service weapon. Yeah, service weapon. The copies? Earn the position. So I earned the position by killing these things. Or maybe I earned the position by proving I'm competent enough to use this weapon. And I guess the gun, because if they say earn your position, I mean, I'm sure multiple different kinds of people can use a gun, so it's probably not the board that's choosing who the director is. It might be the gun that's choosing who the director is, but is there something special about the gun that makes me director worthy? Pow! And other side, pow, pow, pow! Melee, wham! All right, nice. How, how fast can I shoot this? Oh man, look at Jesse's stance. Ha. Man, what a power stance. Oh. Okay, I might might be terrible at this combat, but it's kind of early in the morning when I'm doing this, but... Oh my goodness, my melee reaches so far. Oh crap, one of them can shoot! I know it says melee, but it really feels more like a ranged attack. Do you see how far I killed that thing? Man, I'm like Saitama. Oh. What's this? And we drop health elements. Health elements? They're like little droplets of oopy goodness. Alright. 
you and we wield the gun, the board appoints you. So the board does appoint me. Something's coming. This threat. An attack. Duty as director. Keep the bureau safe. Well, you can't really do that no more, can you? Did you hear that? Although apparently I think you were murdered, so... It's the dead man. He lives right in the weapon? after the pyramid spoke to me and it was just noise and I understood every word. Wait. And this gun's alive. Yeah? You know what? I'm happy. Happy to be here. Okay, so I think... You said this Things was a... Uh... down outside. Excuse me, I think this was- to go? Oh, Hold on, I'm trying to think here. So, Mr. Trench here, Zachariah Trench, I believe was his name. He was murdered, like I, th like I think he, uh, well, he obviously put the gun to himself. We saw that in the intro and we see that now, but maybe like something was tampering with him because clearly people can speak in like people's heads, right? That's something established Jesse's doing and I guess something must have happened to him if he did it to himself, but it's considered a murder, right? At least in Jesse's eyes, right? And the pyramid spoke. I mean, I'm not sure how I'm supposed to know what the pyramid said without the subtitles. The subtitles did kind of help there, um, explaining that, but the board chose me. I guess the pyramid is the board or maybe it houses the people that are the board and they chose me to be the new director. Okay, well, what else was I thinking? So the gun's alive. To have to be the director, I need to be worthy by using the gun. I see, and the board chose me. And now it's my duty to protect the bureau from some incoming threat. Oh, well, that looks very threatening. Yeah. Oh, good question. Uh, good thing I shot a. You can't let this happen. You can't let this happen. What's happening? You can't let this happen. You can't let this happen. Am I having a hemorrhage? You can't let this happen. You stopped it. Uh, you. Who's you? you? Is it me? Did I do something? That was. I'm just sat at my desk, man. Horror. Okay. Oh, here they come. Wait, hold on. Yeah, get away from me. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Hello. Oh, maybe I can like peek. Yes. Beautiful. Hiss guard. Well, I didn't hear any noise they made, but... There was many internal security personnel. The hiss was quick to take advantage of this fact. The hiss, I see. Does the hiss mature in organic... Ho so it's like a parasite? Is that what killed Trench? Is the hiss? So this document is questioning whether the hiss is intelligent because when it overtakes its hosts, the hosts are still able to shoot weapons. So that means the hiss must have a high level intelligence or something. When director Trench photograph. So much is expected from the director, the responsibility, the privilege. You're dang right about that, Trench. It's a very good photo of you. Although I think you could have chosen a better background. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, objects of power. What did the guy say? Oh, objects I can watch the whole video. Can cause or be results of AWE okay, so it's so wait, it's it's both. So they can cause or be results of. This guy's name is a uh, Darling, wasn't it? Casper Darling. That was in the uh, beginning. Events intrusions upon the perceived reality. A side note: remember to cover their connection to the astral plane as well. <laughs> I think the astral plane is the thing I was just in. So objects of power, which I think includes the gun. Uh, yeah, the service weapon. So the service weapon, it's in the astral plane or something like that. The service weapon is it's in of both of them. A prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one. What is that? Ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key- but, what, what is that? Is that the service weapon? Program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. Lose and you're well fired. Thank you. I'm Dr. Darling, head of research, Federal Bureau of Control. Uh-huh. So that is the service weapon? 
Or is that part of the service weapon? I love this, by the way. Look at that. Man, this is so much for the dang atmosphere. So, what I'm holding here is the service weapon. Are the little individual bits the service weapon that just, like, come together to make a bigger gun? Or is each individual one of them the service weapon? Okay, well, anyway. Um, case files. Service. Oh, oh, well, I can read about it. I can figure it out now. No unique procedures required. So even though the gun's alive, it doesn't need to be contained uniquely, at least. It's probably just kept in a case, but even though this is a super powerful one, you know, it doesn't need any unique <laughs> hiding, even though it's an alive gun. It feels like an alive gun would be kind of a thing you'd want to contain, but I guess it's nice enough to not destroy everyone inside. Okay, optics form is variable. When bound, the optics allows para-utilitarians, para okay must be only bound by individuals taking the role of, I guess, director. The object will determine whether maybe the board deems you worthy. I'm just kind of guessing here. The process dictated, the applicant is terminated. Like, killed? The process dictated by the, probably by the board, though their criteria is unknown. It looked like the criteria was to just shoot a bunch of coal creatures, but inside the oldest house, the room that is now used to, now used as the director's office. Uh, it's been taken many forms that history, Mule, New Excalibur, Varu Nasra, and weapons that probably are bound to their wielders. If objects of power, the convergence of forces based on the collective subconscious, this may be the original manifestation of that event. The convergence of forces based on the collective subconscious, then this may be the original manifestation of that event. I don't know what that means. So wait, no, no, no. I think this is saying this is the first object of power, or it could be. Okay. Acquisition date, 1964. The OOP-1K. Nice. So this is the oldest house, and this is where we found the gun to begin with. And it said that if the thing doesn't deem you worthy, then you're terminated, which I can kind of assume that's what happened to you you got terminated but you were already the director so you must have maybe there's like a retest and you failed central executive let me in pow, 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 pow. can i shoot the fire extinguisher oh, well yes i can oh my goodness trash pow light pow oh <gasps> no way destructible walls oh, bam <gasps> Oh my goodness, I can destroy everything! Bang! Yeah. Screw this old bureau. Wa bam Man, I am so powerful. Was Trench also wielding this power too? What the heck? It's probably the director because everyone else fears his melee attack. My goodness. Alright. I still don't have clearance, despite, uh, I think being the director. Wait, who's this? I didn't notice you before. Oh wait, that's... That's me. There's no way that was me before. Wait, no. That wasn't me before. Who was that before? That was probably Trench, right? Was, that's like the exact same background as... Does that mean... Is it like implying that I'm the director now? I'm the, I'm the director now, right? Hi. The oldest man in the world. We tell ourselves it's okay to be old. The retirement issue. <laughs> Who is this guy? I see. So I guess I'm the director now. This is a very good photo of you, by the way, Jesse. You look so stern, yet so... so beautiful. Bang! Can I shoot the tubes? What's inside, y'all? What's in the tube? What's in the tube? Oh, I was wondering if papers would go flying when I hit that. Beautiful. Can I get some snacks? This thing seems to have been built on the oldest house, so over there is where the oldest house is. And I guess they just kept building on top of it, you know? I, I don't know why they couldn't just have made the building any wider instead of having to opt for this like wayside high school kind of like wayside elementary school what what was the name of that series like the one with the super tall school well anyway they they had the super tall building even though they I, I mean you know I'm not even why am I even asking questions this is not this kind of stuff I should be asking questions about so wait did I get the job Ati hello <laughs> Oh. Secure line of communication. To the board? Guide us. Breach the hotline. What's the hotline? What does the it do? The hotline, says the dead man. So I can okay. hear him in my head. Hello, me. 
Dang. The reason why maybe I wasn't shot on sight by coming in here is because the Bureau recognized that I was supposedly, that was like my cover, right? That I was interviewing for the janitor's assistant. Or is that like code for something or... Oh, hello. Oh my good. Hello? Oh, it's shooting at me. Okay. Wham. Pow. Nice. Oh, there's another one. Oh, there are, there are a lot of them. Okay, nice. Oh, hello. Pow. Oh, look at those effects. Wonderful. Oh, there are more. There are more. Hey, boo. Where is it? Oh, hey. Oh, I thought that was a person getting back up. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, 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 oh. Nice. You more over there. Okay, just gotta wait for my thing to be a little bit. They can come a little closer. Hello. Where are ya? Whoops. Nice. And one more. Beautiful. Hello. Hi. You having a good time up there? Your eyes open. I think they are open. Hi. Are you looking at me? Kind of hard to tell if you are. No, you're not. Hello? Who's there? Are there other janitors around here? Are there people competing for this director position? Well, sucks to suck because I got the weapon already. Shelter. Oh, wait. There, maybe there are people in here? Beep. Oh, I didn't. Okay. That feels a little insecure, don't you think? Hello? Hello? Who's there? Okay. AW investigations. Excuse me? Did I. Did I just do that? Oh, the, I just used a force there. My goodness. Just lift my hand up and. Okay, let's go read this thing here. Marshall. We checked out the suspected AWE in Duluth. Wasn't lying, just like the house fight before this. Manufacturing clothes dryer. Getting pretty six of duds, I see. The sort fake AWS from the real thing. Yeah, this guy is like, my clothes dryer ain't working. Uh, pretty sure this thing is an AWE. Man, you need to. Re it's like people calling things ghosts. I bet that's the thing that they're doing in this kind of area. Oh, wait, did I also get another thing? Right, not, not that, but this button. Uh, personal mods. I got energy recovery speed. Oh, so I shoot energy. I don't shoot like. Uh, I don't shoot bullets. I shoot pure energy. Okay. I mean, maybe not necessarily, but... Wham! Oh, uh, and also they got the, the un, um, the not branded vending machine of drinks. This is they had it for, for food. Wham! Wham! I just want to see all these papers go flying. Pow! 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 Bang! Beautiful. Pow! Hello? Oh, what's up? Is that a stable or an altered item? Don't take office equipment outside of the building? Um, sure. Oh, yes, I knew there was stuff here. Dinner reservations. Well, this one doesn't seem so exciting. Dinner reservations. Uh, she was turning 46. I see. Wife will meet you there? Whose wife? My wife? Yeah. Are there any... Yeah, there's another painting of me. It's a director. Why do these paintings change? I know the world can just seemingly change at will, but who's changing it? And why? Is it trying to intimidate me, or is this just how the bureau works? Like, is the board doing this? Is the hiss doing this? Are there, like, invisible people that I'm not seeing that are doing this? Like, all, all the employees? Like, there are... There are no employees here, like, where did everyone- Okay, well, I know where everyone went, but, like, why? I feel like there would be more people- You see how many desks were over there that I just shoved across? Where is everyone else? Okay, I don't think there's anything over here. I just need to find, uh, some other doors. Yeah, over here, maybe? <gasps> Files! Pow! Oh, yes! Okay, there's an item over here. There's a lot of paper on the floor, but there's only a few I decide to read. Okay, meeting minutes. Uh, here. Okay, 
pay agenda, there's rising costs, <laughs> that's always the case with these stupid government organizations, mold eradication efforts, <laughs> that's that's the worst of your concerns right now. First you got the, the rising costs of the altered world events and now you got mold in your bathroom, equally weighted in terms of urgency, annual salary, new supply of coffee filters to be <laughs> found and vetted. Okay, um, sure, please come prepared, thank you for your time. That's an executive meeting. Okay, you know, it must be a lazy, it must be a lazy week. And you know what? We take lazy weeks. We we like lazy weeks. That means nothing bad's happening to our altered world. Oh, whoops! I accidentally shot myself. Oh, there's a door over there. <gasps> Health boosts. Oh, I'll take. I'll take the health boost for now. Well, we don't really have anything else. I'll take the health boost. Oh, that's is that the pyramid? It must be the pyramid. Central executive. So you got the directors and the. Tried to invade me earlier. The hiss, burrowing into everything in this place. Is that what the voices are? Is the hiss your enemy? Yes. It's our enemy. Okay, so it is our enemy. Or it is its enemy. It burrows in like an infuriating melody that makes you hum it over and over. Yeah. So those voices are the hiss. They're trying to maybe like convince me to convert to them or something. Okay, what am I supposed to be doing over here? Do I need to confront the pyramid? Hello? What? What is this place? And why is it? Is that- is that the board? Why do we- why did we construct it like this? Oh, hello! Oh my gosh! Oh, oh! Find your second class. Oh, that- wait, is that a grenade? Oh my goodness gravy! Hello? Where are you? Nice. Oh, hello. Are you over there? Okay. Oh, can I crouch? How do I crouch? C. Pop, pop, pop. Okay, gotta get you last. Oh man, you got health. Alright, well, you can just wait a little bit here. Oh, you're getting closer. And... Pulaski. I see. Maybe you're like the head security guard. You're a ranger. Oh, that's not good. Pow. Bang! Oh, I... Oh, hi! Oh my gosh! I was like, oh, I must have meleeed the wrong way. Apparently... Control points. Control points. Okay. Cleanse the control point. Mean. Yeah, what is fix it. what what is the control point? Boom. There seems to be a lot of those sounds in this game. Boom. Oh. Okay. 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 Holy shit. You did it. We did it. Pope, it's the Pope. It's the Pope. Are you with us? Hi. With the Bureau. Uh, I think so. Are you still sane? Uh, I, I mean, I'm sure you. I mean, Jesse. I'm talk to somebody sane. The feelings mutual. Yeah, I'm Pope, Emily Pope, Doctor Darling's assistant. The scientist. My turn. Should I lie? Jesse Faden. I'm just visiting. I should have lied. Oh shit. You're the new director. Hold How did you on. know about that? We're coming out. How did you know I was the new director? What? How did you know about that? Hello? Director. Faden. Call me Jesse. Okay, Jesse. I'm Emily. Look, I like your smile. <laughs> this hostile force, this hiss, that works? Somehow the Hiss managed to infiltrate the building without any warning. And just like that, my name for it is official. The Hiss. Y you're the director, Tum Tum. sound of poison gas leaking in. I feel like it was a little you're more than full that. Lockdown. It seems to have spread everywhere and to everyone not protected by an HRA. And, extraordinarily, you. 
You are the director, and that makes you special by definition. What Strange definition? Is no longer the director, obviously. And how do you know about that? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm talking too much. This whole situation. How do you guys know about all this? What? Didn't Trench just? Trench is dead. Yeah. Shot. Ah, I found his body. And the gun. Do I tell her it looked like a suicide? The service weapon. Also, and this can sound crazy, but he keeps appearing. You're literally to me the director. <laughs> saying things. It's hard to make out, but he told me to cleanse the control point. What is a control point? Why Push is there the a huge pyramid? Out. The whole room shifted around. Yeah, the hiss. I mean, it and still seems to be there since that person's doing backflips. You the building when it was already in the lockdown before you became the new director. How? Nobody I'm not stopped ready me. To tell her about you yet. A janitor let me in. <laughs> I love it. I, this is fucking unbelievable. It's. I can't even. Uh, look, Jesse, I have a million questions, and you probably have a million more. Yeah, so let's ask them. Like, what are we doing do you just know sitting my here? Brother Dylan? Not yet. But there's something I need to ask you to do first. If you can cleanse a control point, then you can maybe cure those infected or possessed by the hiss. Because if that's possible, our options are very different. Emily Pope. I don't know her, but I like her already. She's the opposite of the faceless agency I've blamed for what happened to me for so long. But I can't trust her yet. Or rather, the bureau she's a part of. Yes. You're literally the try. director of it. I'm speaking for you, of course. We can try it together. So wait, 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 no, no, no. Okay. So wait, wait no, 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 shush, 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 shush. We did it before. Push the hiss out. No, 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 hold on. I'm pausing the game for this. So they knew that I'm the new director, even though Trench was still the director. They knew that Trench was no longer the director. Pope was seemed to be surprised that Trench died. So I, I was assuming that like they already knew that he stepped down and they were looking for a new director. So she's aware of the fact that Jesse just waltzed in here and became the new director of the whole bureau, but wasn't aware of the fact that Trench was dead, even though I assume the only reason why Trench would be replaced at all is because he was killed or he retired or something like that. Who told her that I'm the new director? I didn't say anything. <laughs> oh. And also, why do we need to cleanse control points? What are control points? Why does the Hiss want to take over them? Maybe it's because there are these pyramids. Was this pyramid already here? Or did we... This pyramid was probably already here. That's probably why we have a whole building built around it and this setup here. Like, other, like, it might just be a weird, like, construction if it was just the room, but all this equipment probably tells me we're, like, studying it or trying to listen to it, right? These all kind of look like listening devices or something to that effect. So I think we're trying to listen in on what this is saying, and the, the hiss really wants in on this for whatever reason. Maybe because I assume the board is the one controlling the bureau, like, like a puppet, right? They're, like, the master. And the Hiss really wants to take control of the board so they can release all the altered world event thingies or the objects of power. Hello. Oh. What am I doing? This is an exorcism? Man, that doesn't look pleasant for either of us. Oh. Uh, hello? Are they dead? Oh. Nope, they just faded. Man, doesn't feel so good. Miss Faden, I don't feel so good. This has burrowed too deep. Ripping it out rips them apart. What does that mean? Alright. Boop. We need to make a plan, Jesse. Jesse! Hold on, I need to read first. Here, control points. Yes, finally. Oh, his agent. He has manifested in human hosts in numerous ways. So we already knew about this. Maybe the hiss just like got an outbreak. That's also what I was wondering. Why isn't the hiss like outside and in the public? Why didn't I see that when we were starting the game? Ati doesn't have the hiss, even though 
is supposedly spreading throughout the whole building, so he must be special because he wasn't wearing a fancy vest, or at least I didn't see him wear it. Nobody on the outside had the hiss either, so the hiss is only contained within this building, but it didn't look like it was being contained by much at all. Like, the only thing that stood in the way between, like, me getting in here was an elevator, right? So the hiss probably could easily get through there if it wanted. I don't have no idea what the hiss even is, though. Like, is it a spirit? Or is it an actual, like, physical being? Or what is it? His agents have maintained their human appearance, undergoing no obvious physical transformation. The Hiss guards, they try to kill and shoot people, but the Hiss agents, like, if they just invade people, they then they don't actually do anything. They just kind of incapacitate them, let them float around, and they keep talking about something. Okay, when attack, Hiss agents disappear. Invisibility or undergoing transformation into a purely resonant form. So is the Hiss, like, an electromagnetic thingy? Kind of like a weird like sci-fi ghost okay what was the other thing control points the locations as the vital junctions of the oldest house okay harmonization devices are arranged around the control point that's probably the little speaker things the surrounding area will not experience any unforeseen building shifts okay so wait hold on let's take in this first paragraph control points locations around the bureau the oldest house Vital junctions of the oldest house. What do you mean, vital junctions of the oldest house? Um, vital junctions of the oldest house may be ways to, like, access the oldest house, like, its old form before it became the office. I don't know, something like that. Okay, they were discovered by blah, blah, blah detection. 37-foot radius. That's oddly specific. I wonder if that number will matter. Your 67 attempt to find control points, nerve junctures, or blank or vulnerable spots of the oldest house. The director's office is the oldest house, but I feel like this is kind of implying that the entire building is the oldest house, or at least was built upon the oldest house. And these control points allow us to. So, something about the oldest house in and of itself is containing all the- that's why, like, nothing has been getting out. That's why the hiss can't get out, maybe. That's why these objects of power can't- aren't, like, out into the world yet. It's because the oldest house is containing them. And these control points, the vital junctions of the oldest house, they're the way that we make the oldest house, like, stay stable, right? As long as we have these control points and we're doing something to them using the harmonization devices, then the oldest house will not shift, right? The oldest house will not twist and turn. It will remain stable. I got an undefined rating, a hidden trend, and the house memory. What conceptual material? Conceptual material. So I can build things out of concepts? Okay. Sure. Hello? Okay, where's Pope? There you are. Boardroom. What's up, my girl? I can't cleanse them. I saw. Well, maybe you just got unlucky shot. that time. Thank you, Director. Jesse. I'm gonna tell her why I'm here. I'll risk it. Listen. The Bureau was involved in an... incident in my hometown, Ordinary. 17 years ago. Ordinary, what a name for a town. came in and covered the whole thing up. Okay. I've been looking for this place for a long time. Is it really that hard to find? That's it's so enough. tall. Maybe that's too much already. I can't tell her about Dylan and the rest yet. I've seen mentions of an altered world event case dealing with Ordinary. You were at Ground Zero as a child? It was one of the big ones, and before my time. And very classified. You have nice I eyebrows. I can try to dig out some old files for you. My boss, Casper Darling, would know, but he's missing. Definitely dead. I think he knew this was coming, or suspected. That there would be an the outbreak? HRAs, the Hedron Resonance Amplifiers. I think they're what saved us. Resonance Amplifiers. And Director Trench would know. Resonance Trench, amplifiers. The ghost, or whatever he is. He mentioned something called the hotline. Said I should find it. It's another object of power, like the gun. An old Bakelite telephone. A direct line of communication between the director and the board. Maybe he can talk to you more clearly through that. I mean, Trench has years and years of experience. 
He might know how to destroy the hiss. So why did he stop the being the director if he had years and years of experience? The communications department through the mail room. It's part of this sector, so we can access it even with the lockdown in place. We'll get the door open for you. Okay, that's my next stop. That's Tomasi's department. He's the head of communications. I don't think he had an HRA. He kind of made a point about not wearing one earlier. Keep How early on? on? Resonance amplifiers. They call me the director. But that's not me. I'm not uh, a director type. I'm not a leader. Okay. Why am I here? I think you already know. No, I have no idea, actually. Yes, I came for my brother, but there are other reasons, too. I am not you, Jesse. I said I was looking for answers, but I might never understand them. I don't understand anything that's going on right now. I'm not looking for proof. This is already it. More than enough. No matter what they told me all those years, I know it's real now. I didn't that's the imagine line. this. I want to be a part of this world. What scares me shitless is that I finally found it. I like that it's in this Charles Only Xavier to see room. The hiss <laughs> destroy it all. Oh. Why is it <laughs> like this? Like what? I mean, it's a pretty cool carpet you got going. The board's calling me. Okie dokie. So don't hesitate to ask me anything you want to know. Yeah, hold on. Let's ask you a few questions. The hotline should be in the communications department. Uh, okay. So, resonance amplifiers. Let's read about this a little so bit here. So, HRA stop you from becoming hiss. Well, it seems that way. I mean, I hadn't even heard of an HRA until a few weeks ago when Dr. Darling started handing them out. Well, I began analyzing mine as soon as I got it. I mean, each one seems to emit a powerful short-range frequency way beyond anything I've ever seen. Doesn't the timing seem suspicious? I thought that too. Dr. Darling usually likes to unveil his latest breakthrough in big presentations. With these, he just passed them out. Yeah, his behavior makes me wonder what exactly he knew. He was pretty high up, wasn't he? So... Something about the resonance amplifiers, they emit a super high frequency. Is that like a light frequency or like a sound frequency? I don't know. I mean, considering it's called a hiss, I'm assuming it's like a sound frequency, but it could be any of them. And something, it emits a super short range one that's super powerful, and I guess it like maybe it cancels out or blocks the hiss or something like that, overpowers it, something like that. If it's working right now, I'm not able to hear it. So either it's like so high that I can't hear it in terms of like sound, or it's like electromagnetic, maybe, or something like that. I don't know. Can you tell me what an object of power is exactly? This is all, well, new to me. Yeah, as a director. Don't worry, I love going over the basics. So objects of power are mundane objects that house paranatural energies and have developed a link to the astral plane and can thus be controlled, which is what differentiates them from altered items, which are still housings of paranatural forces, but are more volatile and cannot be bound in the peri-utilitarian sense. Got it? Did she memorize this? Got it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. So, wait, what What did you just say? Wait, what? Can you tell me what an object Objects of power, they look like ordinary things, but they're super powerful in some way, shape, or form. And the objects of power, they can be bound to people, right? So, that's like the gun. The gun is bound to me. It's like the telephone. The gun is... Not the gun. The telephone is bound to me because I'm the director. But the altered items, altered objects, they can't do that. They just house a lot of power. And since... She said it's like more volatile, right? I wonder what it means more volatile. Can we like harness that power? Is that what we're trying to do is harness that power? This trench guy. I keep hearing him in my head. Is he a ghost? Haunting me? I doubt we're talking about a ghost in the traditional sense. But an echo may be. See, if he was killed by the service weapon, your gun... Maybe it's his final thoughts recorded by the bullet in his brain, like a, a deep space probe sending back data. 
but that's just a hypothesis on my part. I'd need the gun to research it. <laughs> but you better hold on to that, given the circumstances. I think I will. Yeah. Okay, that didn't answer anything about Director Trench. So, we don't really know why I'm able to hear him. You mentioned the oldest house. What is it? This building, the bureau headquarters, the oldest house, is a shifting place. Okay, so the building is the oldest house. It transcends its physical limits. I've been to New York a few times. How didn't I notice this place? It's an attribute of the building. This is a place of power. The oldest house a doesn't pop. like attention. So unless you're purposely trying to find it, you don't. Oh. Which is perfect for us. Oh. The work we do here is it's like essential, in but unstable. The Bureau prefers not to be noticed. And we need strong walls to make sure nothing gets out. So without you, I never would have found the front door. Okay. Okay, so, like, my conclusion that I made earlier is, like, pretty much right, in that the uh, the, the control points, they, ha they stabilize the oldest house to keep it, and the oldest house is the entire building and it is powerful and it is like shape-shifting and it's bigger than it looks I guess so that um it can house all these things but also so that it won't be noticed and even though the building is like infinitely tall right that's just kind of the point is that it needs to be infinitely tall but also not noticed I guess all right origin of the hiss where did the hiss come from I'm not sure you said the hiss was here when you entered did you see anything like that outside before you came in? No. No. No, just inside. The source is internal then. See, the oldest house is a sprawling complex with openings to other places as well. I don't even know where to start looking. But in the context, it's good news. The lockdown holds. The hiss escaping the building would be the end. Pretty shitty world out there if you ask me, but I wouldn't want the hiss to destroy it. With you on that, Emily. Okay, fair enough. So, the hiss is contained in the... I mean, she did say that the oldest house connects to other places, but the hiss hasn't left, so are there other places not in the real world? Does the actual plane count as one of those? Thanks, Emily. I'm sure I'll have more questions soon. Okay. Just let me know. I see. Can I ask about what this control point is? Hello. <laughs> so something about this thing, about this like setup here, makes it so that it stabilizes the control point. I don't know if this pyramid has anything to do with it, but oh, ah, outfits, A civilian, fast travel, nice. Okay. So this is like a convenient way for me to do stuff, but like in the context of the lore, this like stabilizes the oldest house or something. Nostalgia department, dead letters, communications. Okay, I need to. Okay, I'm really tempted to explore all those, but I really need to focus on getting to communications first. Hello? There it is again. The hiss? Welcome message. Boop, 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 boop. Open map. Okay. Doop. Hold on, I got something to explore. Bang! Give me that. House memory. The oldest house memory, or like my home and ordinary memory? That's Tomasi. Okay, I can understand these words now. Is something... Yeah? Redacted? Okay, you know what? You're just bobbling nonsense. I thought you would reveal something lore wise, but... Okay, I still don't have anything there. He's just really taunting me. It's like the devil, goodness. It's not actually saying anything, but it, it's just taunting me with its noise. Bang! 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 Die, guard. Oh, hi! Oh my goodness! I didn't expect there to be so many of y'all already. Okay. Hello, so it's that if I attack these guys, they just turn into, like, dust or whatever? They just stopped existing? 
Yep. Oh. I, I, for some reason, I expected them to fade away high. Oh, don't mind if I do. Oh, okay. No, never mind. It's overpowering here. Oh, that's not good. You don't want me anywhere near it. With you on that. That'd be pretty bad. Who is this guy talking to me in my head that's not Trench? Ha, ha, funny. <laughs> Did you hear that? Ha, ha, funny. So funny. Oh, hello, that's not very funny. Hello. Ouch. Okay. Um, oh. Did you guys get yourself? What the heck? Get him. Nice. Anyone else? Oh, yes. Hey there. In the red. With the red face. And the baseball cap. Get back here. Oh. I didn't even notice you were there. Peekaboo. Bam, 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 bam. Nice. I should pick up the health. I'm kind of hurting here. Health elements or whatever. I'm getting some materials as well. Beautiful. Okay. I need to go find the hotline. Did I, did I get something? Uh, yeah, that. And I did get something. Hiss barrier. His residents feel there's a physical impediment that is difficult to define. Okay, they impede access by the bureau. Two methods have been discovered for lowering them. Destroy the multiple concentrated resonance sources in the vicinity destroy the hiss entities i feel like i destroyed the hiss entities but I'm, I'm still hearing the noise so i don't think i did like i'm still hearing tomasi go on and on so i don't think the hiss is gone let's see if they require support for their size mm, draw from these sources so other non-connected sources of hiss resonance so if i cut off its connection to other hiss places, then it will fall down. An active structure m made of hiss resonance qualifies a conscious being. Wait, why is it calling it? Th why is it calling these the hiss? By order of Director Jesse Faden, I see. So literally, as I was being a director, these were being made for me. Like these are new. I was like, how do they already know to call it the hiss, even though I wasn't director yet? No. I ordered these. I, was, I ordered these, and Emily Pope is compiling them for me. Communications, communications. How, how am I supposed to know a community? Yeah, you can still see there. It's still red. Wait, hold on. What does that say? Uh, nostalgia. We're not doing nostalgia. In the bathrooms or anything in here? Any files? Oh, apparently there is. Unstable area notice. Oh, I sure know about that. Um. Due to region fluctuations, is a control point. Visibility has been downgraded to yellow. Low possibility of unanticipated building shifts. Okay. If we don't harmonize it or whatever, it does become unstable. I feel like I already knew that, but just extra confirmation is good. Especially in a <laughs> world like this, I need confirmation on everything. And also, there's a mini kit here. Thank you. <laughs> Shatter projectile. Shatter. Shatter projectile boost. Weapon mods, exclusive to Shatter. I, I don't have a Shatter yet. It's pretty ironic that I found the Shatter in the ship. Where's the communications? Oh wait, yeah, there's a sign that tells me exactly where it is. It's right up ahead. Um, it's right up a, it's right up a, it's not right up ahead. Okay. Looks like I'm gonna have to take a roundabout way. Dead letters. I have to go through dead letters first. All right, here we go. Oh, oh, communications is this way. Oh, hi guys. This is another hiss barrier. Hey man, you are so loud. Hiss must be real strong here. What's this? Machine God. I had a dream, and I built the thing I saw in my dream. A machine that will contain God, but not the God you know. A new God. The his body, his heart, his mind. Making the Iron Giant. I used the motor from the refrigerator. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I see, so it's you you're making you're making a steampunk contraption here. I put the coils on my toaster and the fans, plus the timing belt for my car's engine, and wheels for my son's skateboard. God can't move yet. Why are they called dead letters? Is there a reason that they're called dead letters? Is that like a term that I'm not familiar with? Is it from like are they like dud letters? Like it's like a false alarm kind of letter, like spam, or is it just a letter from someone who's dead? I feel like that one's a little too obvious though. 
people are just looking for ways to claim their fame, you know? I think that's what's going on here. They still keep all the letters though, which is interesting. All right, peekaboo. Oh, hello, who's there? What's up? There you are. Oh, oh you, I think you have a shield now. I think it's what the extra health bar is. Oh, there are more. Nice. Oh, I think that stumbled you. Bam! Nice. Alright. Oh, there are more, there are more. Nice. Oh, no, you're still alive. Okay. Oh, who's there? How did, how did I not notice you? What the heck? Alright. Bam! And pow! Okay. Good way to conserve on ammo there. Man, I love how the music kicks in. Alright. What's going on over here? Nice computer. That is a really nice computer. What the heck? That looks awesome. I want a keyboard like that. Undefined reading. Okay. More stuff that I don't understand. Just the... Uh, his life is in your hands. Let's work hard. Whose life? The scientist's life or the guard's life? So here it, it makes me think that there are enemies nearby. Like enemies that I can shoot. Pow! Let me read all these stupid letters. Pow! These files look surprisingly empty. I guess we didn't just just didn't get enough letters. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Nice. I don't think anyone was meant to do that. Oh crap. <gasps> they turned into his scar. Do you see that? Oh wait, it's another control point. There's no pyramid over this one though. See those like satellite dish looking things? That's like the sign of the control point, but there, there's no pyramid. So the pyramid... Pyramid has nothing to do with the control points. Oh, hello! Stay down! My goodness. Okay, cleanse it. Do whatever you have to do. Am I like praying to it or...? Nice. So the hiss is trying to take over these control points. Oh, I seem to have knocked it over. <laughs> whoops. Oh, whoops. Oh, whoops. Um, that's probably fine. So the pyramid that we saw on the other control point... I can fast travel to it, right? Yeah. Well, I'm not going to do that, but... Was the pyramid like... Was it always there? Did we build it there? It seems like an awfully bizarre thing to add in your very clinical looking office building, you know? So... What else is here? Any other rooms before I move on? You, a TV. Oh, it's a new, it's a new, um, new video from Darling. Just look at it. Why am I watching it from this angle? Storing a whopping 80 kilobytes. It's pretty dang good. Stolen by our friends at the CIA, the disc held the launch codes to Soviet nukes. Okay. And the cheese it. This is not the disc, of course, but one exactly like it—a perfect fusion of concepts. Vibrating in the Cold War era collective unconscious. A receptacle. Like McCarthyism? It is a receptacle for dangerous energies to hone in on. And they did. We don't have the details, but when things started flying around the disc, it was transferred to us. What? The Red Scare? It's an object of power. Oh, OP. Oops. Oh, and it launched things <laughs> telekinetically through the air. Uh, to date, we, we've launched maybe three dozen pencils. Using the power of the fear of communism. We even launched a cup. That's pretty dang good. Oh, it's a very powerful floppy disk. So 80 kilobytes and 80 megawatts. Who are we communicating with? Besides me as a director? It's a the whole department, so let's see something else to it. Why is it always that this door is closed and this one's open? What's going on? Remember to wash your hands. Your hands can spread the mold. Wait. It can spread the mold? How do hands spread mold? Is the mold like a code word for something? I haven't seen mold anywhere. Especially in the bathrooms. Is the mold like a term for something? Is it like the cold or is it like a virus or? It spreads the mold, so something about the mold is important. Okay. Uh, communications. I mean, I'm in communications. Where do I need to go in communications? Upstairs, maybe? No, there's nothing here. Well, except this, but nowhere for me to go. Can I survive this jump? Doink! Nice. Jesse, you're so strong. My goodness. 
Okay. Oh. Careful. <laughs> Whoops. Pneumatics. Oh, it's communications as in it's how they communicate throughout the department. So they send pneumatic tubes everywhere to let people know of stuff. That that looks pretty bad. It's another hiss barrier. Hello. Peekaboo. Hello? An object of power. Oh crap. Wait, it's throwing stuff at me. Uh-oh. Oh crap! No, hide, hide! Oh my goodness! Okay. Okay, where do I go? Where do I go? I can hide behind that. I can hide behind this. Okay, run, 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 run. Okay. Oh crap. Careful. Okay, let's see. Anyone over there? Do I need to shoot it? Okay. So, they said they were able to few, the fling a few dozen pencils and a cup, but I feel like this thing's flinging a little bit more than that. Using the power of communism. What else is over here? Anything else? No lore items. Hello? I think I need to make it through this area. Other people seem to have suffered through this. Why is my thing turns green? Pow! Okay. Hello? It's right there, isn't it? Oh crap. Okay. Run, 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 run. Okay, we're good. Oh my goodness. What is this thing at me? Okay, I can't open this yet. I have to revisit all these places later, my goodness. Okay, is there someone over here? Hello? Hello? No lore items or anything. Oh, figure I can hide behind this. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Okay, run, 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 run. Hide. Okay, I can hide behind this. Anything over here that I need to see? Like files or something? No, okay. No lore items. Just gonna keep moving. Hello? Hi? Oh, is it gonna- Oh, I'm going for it. I'm going for it. What are you? Come back here. Uh, hey, hey, hey. I'm doing something to it. Use the force, Luke. Nice. Oh. Can be bound. Yeah, it's an object of power. It can be bound. It can launch telekinesis. It's oh. harder to hear you when I'm here. It's like the channels. That been makes changed. sense. The board's in charge here. They're pyramids in the bureau seal. Are they really the ones pulling the strings? I'm not their director. I'm oh. no one's director. That makes sense. So objects of power, they have just like certain powers and energies manifested within them. And they're connected to the astral realm and through the astral realm is how they become bound to what they called para-utilitarians. And with the gun, I was able to bound with the gun and use it. And now I'm binding with the floppy disk and the floppy disk's power is able to launch stuff. So I guess the gun's powder <laughs> power was able to shoot stuff, but now using the floppy disk, I can harvest, harness the floppy disk's power to launch items. Oh my goodness. Pow. Beautiful. Oh, I can launch each, each individual little rock too. How long can I hold this for? <laughs> Thingamajig. Is a hot? Doop. Easy. Okay, that makes sense. It's all making sense to me. Doink. You know? Okay. Uh. Hello? Oh, do I get. To I'm definitely gonna have to fling some things at some enemies. I'm so good at parkour. Destroy them. Pow. Nice. Apply gift slash burden. Did you see that? Man, this thing is this thing is burden on me. I'm so upset that I can have the force now. What am I holding? Here, take the big Q. Pow. Okay, I need to get oh hi. Man, okay, I didn't hit any of those shots. Boop. 
And who else wants a tussle? You. Oh, what? Bang. Bang. <laughs> Bye, nerd. Oh, crap. Well, if the forest ain't coming in handy, then I can sure as heck rely on the power of bullet. Nobody can outsmart bullet. Right. And does this, if I complete the challenge, does that mean like the thing's binded to me or bound to me? It does. Okay. Nice. Oh. There you are. The hiss is seeking out. Oh. <gasps> oh, that makes sense. I got it. Wait, 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 no, 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 that makes sense. So the hiss is trying to infiltrate the control points because from the control points, they're able to gain access to the, to the uh, oldest house. And I guess through there, somehow they're able to make, like weave their way into the astral plane. And that's, the hiss want to get into the astral plane so they can take over the objects of power and like take over the world or whatever. Just like you wanted, that right? makes sense. This will okay. Fight the hiss. Launch are effective against shields, I see. Oh wait, those are enemies. I thought there was like a team, like a cleanup team coming in. Hello. Bang. Oh my gosh. I'm the floppy disk now. Take that, nerds. Bang. Oh, I missed. Okay. Still not as fast as gun. That's fine. Recharging. Probably should have anticipated that happening. Okay, it's fine. I have all the time. Oh man, you have a you have a fast gun. My goodness. Oh, hello. Oh, who's there? Uh, hello? Oh, there, there you are. Wham! Nice. Beautiful. Alright, how do I get down here? Uh, can I just jump down or... What? Hold on, what is this? Oh, it's probably a pneumatic tube, like, thing. It looks like the flying spaghetti monster. <laughs> okay, I uh, think I can make it. Be doink. Nice. Oh, look at that draw. Oh my, how far? You fell down so far, Jesse. What the? Hey, you were so strong. I'm so proud of you. Okay. Apparently, I still haven't got rid of that. Ah, hi. Oh my gosh. Bang. Nice. So, I just ordered this, and Emily Pope immediately got to work. Rangers. That's one of the first bosses I fought. The Rangers are the bureau's well trained. Okay. The hiss corrupt the counterparts are formidable. Got it. They were trained to use a variety of weapons. That makes sense. Guns, rifle, shotguns. Yes. Considering the advanced training of the hiss rangers, feeble to use in mind remains intact to some degree. Okay. Or is the hiss able to tap into this combat training? I see. So the hiss itself maybe isn't exactly trained in combat. It's just accessing the memories of the humans or the humans themselves are like combining with the hiss. Demolition expert. His demolition experts are only reserved to his variations to wield the specially built rocket propelled grenade that is designed to track entities once fired, making a threat whose termination should be prioritized in combat. So, so I need to kill these guys first because they're the heavy hitters. I find it remarkable that the hiss restrict the uses of this weapon to the bureau personnel who specifically trained for this use. Can it not pass along new information to corrupted entities? That, I guess, makes sense. So the hiss isn't one big hive mind so the hiss isn't one giant like fungus or one bacteria it can infiltrate the minds but it can't pass information the hiss isn't learning how to do anything the hiss doesn't know it doesn't learn how to use weapons it does tap into the mind because otherwise the hiss would know how to use it and then it could transfer that knowledge to everyone else right that would make sense i guess yeah okay here floppy disk all right let's read must be contained in a cell with no other loose material yet because it can launch stuff. Object 8 inch diskette containing Soviet area launch codes when bound. Object allows para utilitarians. So that's that's what the like the people that are able to control these items or not control them. I mean, it's, it's called control, but the ones that are able to harness their power, they're called para utilitarians. Telekinetically lift material and throw it a short distance. The object is currently bound to blank for racist purposes. Wait, it says currently bound. The word currently kind of tells me like it's bound to this person now, but it could be unbound later. How do you unbind objects? Same location redacted. Great. Why is it all redacted? I'm the director. <laughs> it's unredacted, I say. 
as a director. Hold on, let's go check out the shelter. Any more people in here? No, I mean, there's a lot of, a lot of goodies here. Headshot. Oh, actually. Oh, I can do that. <gasps> yes, headshot boost. Beautiful. 37% increase. My goodness, that is a great increase. Okay, let's get moving. Is it a good idea to leave these shelters open? I don't see why not. All right, let's go. Okay, mail room. Wait, how do I get to... How do I get to the hotline? Do I just need to keep moving? Emily said that the hotline can be reached through the mail room. Never mind, I just wasn't paying attention. Oh, hello. Can I take the speakers away? Idiot. Pow. Stop talking through those speakers. My goodness. It's so annoying. Okay, what are you? Willow Awe Outcome from Tomasi. National news sites have begun publishing a story about of the polar bear attack on the Alaskan town. <gasps> this is part of the thing that I was being talked about earlier. Like, remember how he said, like, not to use certain words like Alaska? That's what this is. I don't like the boast, but claiming that the family was killed by migrating polar bears desperate for food uh, was a stroke of genius. Uh, so they're covering up the story, I see. Okay, so another AW behind us and the public is on the wiser. Well done, it was a strong campaign, perfectly executed. So that was a thing that they covered up, I see. And that letter to the families, they didn't say sorry about it. They were just, uh, they were proud about it. They're very, they were very proud that they died, but they weren't sorry for it. No, 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 no. What is, what is this? Are they like, their little punch cards? Hello? Can you not? Stop it. My goodness. Mail room this way. Let's go. We just got a letter. Oh man. <laughs> it's a red letter day. I can't enter. Darn it. That would have <laughs> such a good joke too. Alright. <laughs> hello, hello. Hi. Oh, <gasps> clearance level one. This oh, hi. Oh my goodness. Oh, what happened to your jaw? Oh, you're not going to say anything about this? You even had the thing. What caused this? You even had the resonance thing, so... Maybe it was not the hiss. Maybe you died fighting the hiss. That would make sense, I guess. But I don't see any other dead bodies. Actually, no, that makes sense, because... That guy's not infected by the hiss, because his body's still there. And he's dead. But... The hiss, if they die, they like vaporize, right? That's what we saw. That's what we've been seeing. Okay. This time, I didn't even struggle to do that one, but I guess it wasn't hiss control. I just claimed it. Yeah, I have clearance level one now. Well, I have this, but I gotta remember that all the other clearance level one things that have been around this map, I gotta go check out. But, oh, whoops, wrong button. All right. Uh, mail room. So I should be able... Oh, hello. What's up, bro? Oh, you're the ultimate hiss. Pow, 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 pow. Great. They, they've been... What do you mean? They've been flying. Hello, Tomasi. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh, hey. That was rude of you. Can you not? Hey, wow, my aim is bad. Fire extinguisher, go. Pow. Oh, they dodged it. Get out of here. Ouch. Oh, that really hurt. Hello there. Oh, okay. You weren't close enough. Anyone else around here? There you are. Get him. Oh, that did a lot of damage to you. Okay, I should get on higher ground. I need to get on higher ground so I can hit that guy a little better. Hey, where are you, Tomasi? There you are. I did it. Never mind, you're just escaping. Bye bye. Oh, that's where all the tubes are, I bet. I Hiss have a elevated. He'll be back. Oh, a feeling, huh? Hiss elevated. Oh, hi. <laughs> what a nice illustration. Jedi, have you been drawing these yourself, Pope? Emily. 
test elevated agents or HIA display abilities similar to telekinetic competencies and peri utilitarians. Okay. Some prefer to charge your targets, other launch objects. Telekinetic attacks have been ineffective against the hiss elevated. Okay, due to their talent in the area. They do not use any weaponry except their own paranatural capabilities. How are they able to use them? It's possible that they were bound to objects of power prior to corruption. The hiss residents can identify and express latent paranatural ability in the vigils it corrupts. I see. So the hiss can not only access the the memories of people, but if that if those people happen to be bound to objects, the hiss is also able to harness that power as well. Okay. I see. Let's stay focused. The hotline should be past the mail room. You got it, you got it. Oh, wait. These guys are no longer hiss anymore. Unless these guys were here already. Where's all the mail? I wanna see some mails. Hotline ch oh wait, yeah, it's up there. Hotline chamber. Okay. This is where I'm gonna go to the hotline. Hello? Damasi. Come out, come out wherever you are. All right, take this down. The situation in Cuba has been evaluated by the relevant authorities. Cuba. The mysterious illness affecting the staff at the U.S. Embassy in Havana was caused by sonic weaponry in the hands of a foreign power. Okay. Numerous personnel have damage to the inner ear, but most are expected to make a full recovery. I see. Of course, the event also damaged their cellular walls, but we can't blame that on some stupid noise gun. <laughs> Thank God no local doctors examined them first. Honestly, what are the odds of all to that and you show up inside a U.S. Embassy? Talk about good luck, huh? <laughs> good so luck? Much easier to... hey, are you still recording this? Oh, <laughs> I see. He was uh, getting a little political there. Is the foreign, like, noise gun, is that part of the object of power? Is that a cover-up? Oh, things are still being sent. Butte summary. What, what do you mean? A spate of disappearances was traced through a home in the city of Butte where bureau agents discovered a translocative light switch cord. Bureau agents arrived at the home of a local celebrity which had connected to a local of blank disappearances in the area. Found no one inside. Pulled the light switch cord and disappeared from view. Another agent sought to pull the cord to locate the event. He disappeared as well. They were discovered in the oldest house, found in a sealed room by rangers. Ah, it's called translocative because when you flick the switch, you disappear and you reappear in the oldest house. I see. The light switch uh, disappeared during this incident. Oh, so it's just gone. <laughs> I also noticed that tubes are still being sent here, which is probably how all the information is getting around, but who's sending the tubes? I'm not sending the Everyone here that worked here is dead. Who's sending Alberto the tubes? Tomasi, head of comms. Head of comms. Oh. I uh, just got some blood on it. All right. Well done, everyone. It was a strong campaign and perfectly executed. That was part of the thing I read. Issue date 2016. Expiry date 2019. So this game takes place sometime after 2016. Or maybe in 2016. I don't know. It just takes place after that. So we have, we have some kind of date at least. The hotline can't be far now. But yeah, there's been so many signs to it. Okay, what's over here? Ew, another mini kit. Pow! What are these things, by the way? <laughs> like, I've been just kind of accepting that they're like little loot boxes, but what are they? <laughs> oh, hotline chamber. It's a direct connection for the director and the board, right? So, it's a, is the director the only one allowed in here? Can anyone else uh, have any? Has anyone else been like allowed to look at it? Okay, security log must check in. Trench, trench, custodian, custodians. Ati's not on here, so. Oh wait, no, 2019. This this also is 2019, so the game probably takes place in 2019 or after. I see. Well, hopefully the custodians haven't been picking up. <laughs> that would be weird. Ring, ring, ring. Ring, ring, ring. Oh, hello. <gasps> it's the light switch. Green logic. Ocean view? The light switch cord. Door marked with the black pyramid. Black pyramid. I've seen that many multiple times. 
Okay, this is a this is a translocative light switch. Did they move it here? Is this part? I mean, this is we are in the oldest house right now, so is this the new part that the rangers were exploring? But we're not going to end up in the celebrity's house, I don't think. He said we're going to end up in the Ocean View Motel. What? What? Am I in the gap? What? What happened? Did something change? It's dark now. Oh wait, there's something here I missed. Butte supplement. Okay. There's a little more details. According to their testimony, the agents have been transported to a road- Oh, wait. Wait, what? To the Ocean View Motel. Oh, after that, they went to the oldest house. So they went to the motel first. So they went from the home, they pulled the light switch, and, and then they went to the Ocean View Motel and discovered a room key by performing a, rit a ritual. Okay, how did they know how to do a ritual? Key opened a door marked with an inverted black pyramid, which they only learned after a lengthy period of trial and error. I see. Pulling another motel cord found inside this room, they were transferred inside the oldest house. This appearances of the home's owner and the other locals of the butte have been attributed to the light switch cord. Okay, the Ocean View Motel is now known to have many doors and pathways. The occurrence identical light switch cords to the one found in view have been appearing throughout the oldest house. I see. More light cords have been found in the oldest house located in the sectors. They all access the Ocean View Motel. I see. So one, once it was discovered, it's like, oh, gotta make some more. This is 1992. Right. Is there people- are there people working at the Ocean View Motel? I assume the ocean- it's like a, it's- I mean, it's still a motel, like- Oh wait, it even- it even says here. Ocean View Motel and Casino Entry Point. It's a casino too. Catalyst Light Switch, the Law- Law of Three. What's the Law of Three? Ritual Attunement Required. Agent must orient an anchor motel to their personal frequencies. Okay. Fatal psychic trauma. Oh, so only certain people can use it. Which is the director. Okay. Am I not going to be transported? Does something else change? Do I need to pull it like a bajillion times? Nothing seems to have changed around here. Okay, you know, I'll just keep pulling the light switch then. It really feels like something should be changing, but... I mean, the lights are changing, but that doesn't change anything about the actual world. Whoa. Oh! Have we been here before? H have no. we? I think it's just a normal the motel. I've the roadside motels across the country, on the road, on the run, under the radar. Black Pyramid. This feels like all of them, like something recognized from a dream. Yeah, wait. Doesn't look like there's anything out there. Yeah, even though this is an Ocean View Motel, there's no one here. The doors aren't marked with numbers. They're marked with symbols. Can I go back? Oh, so I can. I see. Okay. I seem to pull it three times. Black Pyramid. Open it. Okay. A lot of blue lights around here. Something in a dream. Also, this hallway is really wide for a motel. All right, ring ding ding, ring a ding Hello? ding, ring a ding Anyone ding, here? ring a ding ding, ring a ding ding. I'd like a room, please. Where's the casino part of this, by the way? I know this is a motel and casino, and I want to see the casino part. Oh, these have. So those ones don't have numbers. These ones have numbers. Two 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 five. Four. Why are they? Why do they have two? Are we on the second floor? But the door's right here. That looks like there's pavement there. Weird, unless it's like a balcony? Maybe... I don't, mm, I don't know. I, I can not see the outside. Does the bell do something? Oh, it opened a different room. Okay. Uh, oh, what are you? <gasps> the keys! The key has a black pyramid on it. Nice. Wait. That means the other rooms probably have stuff in them too. Wait. What's the significance of the Ocean View Motel? Did something happen here? Is this just an arbitrary location that the light switch decides to bring you to? Why is there a light switch just in the middle of the hallway? There's gotta be a reason. Okay. Um. 
Doesn't seem to want to open any of these doors. Just opens these. Okay, I see. There are other symbols here too. Maybe at some point I'll be able to access them, but for now... Oh, that's me, isn't it? Yeah, that's me. Is that what's about to happen to me? Okay, let's stare at this painting and try to recreate it as best we can. Alright. Oh. Here we go. Boom! Yep, <laughs> that's me alright. Oh, and the bridge is back. Why was that a requirement to have the bridge? Weird. Ring a ding ding. Hello. Surprisingly, there's no door into this chamber, which is weird. The shell. Transmitter. Call the board long distance. That's why telephones exist. <laughs> Don't mean to break it like that. Okay, actual plane challenge. Let's do it. I'm connecting with the phone, I guess. I wonder what power is the phone going to give me? I don't know what powers the phone has other than it can contact the director. Hi. Okay, well, the phone can contact... Am I like... I'm going to be able to contact the director at any time, my goodness, there gaps. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, get away from me, you freak of nature. Freak of unnature, if anything. Hello. Can I shoot you? Pow. Die, nerd. Hotline will allow you to contact extra dimensional entities. Ah, so not just the board, other things. I guess that in will include Trench. He's an extra dimensional entity. Lives on the astral plane or something, I don't know. Whatever it is, if he does something. I yeah, gotta be careful of these gaps, so because I'm surely bound to fall for one of them at some point. <laughs> Contact us past selves. We expect compulsive weekly calls. I see, so you need regular updates. It is a phone. It's an object of power. Okay. It doesn't connect to any typical network. A direct line to the astral plane and the board. And my hypothesis is, under the right conditions to other planes of existence as well. I think the game confirmed that. It doesn't have any numbers on it. Pick up the phone. <laughs> Hello, yoo-hoo. A director needs a team. That's why My you're a director. Team. <laughs> These people know the secrets of the Bureau as well as I do. Some even better. Darling, Tomasi, Salvador, Marshall. Uh, well, Marshall whoops. especially. My head of operations. What happened to Tomasi? She sees right through me. Where's Darling? She knows I don't like relying on people. The only person you should fail is yourself. But things change when you become director. There's a reason, there's a reason why you're called director, and it's so that you lead a team, don't you think? It's kind of the whole point in the name, you direct. Oh, that's not good. Uh, I have it. The hotline. I can reach Trench. I... Well, listen to him. He feels what? more like an That's a lot of hotline echo. things that I got. An echo with important info. I need to get back to Emily. Well, um, are you sure you're okay? You're feeling a little lightheaded. Strongly when I tell them about you. Is it too soon to tell Emily? She might be able to help. She seems very understanding about this so far, so. Okay, hold on. Before we do anything, what in the world is going on here? Multimedia, okay, that's what we just watched. Case files, hotline. Okay, let's read about it first before we use it. Object should be inaccessible for use except through the director. It's a 1960s era red Bakelite telephone. The rotary dial has been replaced with a black knob of unknown purpose. The phone weighs blank. The object allows the director to contact with the board. If used by anyone other than the director, they cause lethal, I think like psychological damage. Uh, it's currently bound to trench. Okay, so this is old. It spontaneously manifested in the director's office. Oh. Director Northmore was the first. A uh, battery of tests are running object, including blank and blank, but it's orange and remains unknown. So it just appeared one day. Okay, interesting. Well, let's look at it. Um, let's start with the directorship. Yep. Oh, you're giving me mixed signals here. Those are two different things. 
I am the chosen one. Eh? The game. The control needs me. Oh, wait. Trench board. So that's the board talking to me. And the board could not be any less clear. I like the dramatic music every time we do this. It took us a long time to learn how to stabilize the control points. No, what do the they do? Lines. Can you the ley lines? The house. I see. Darling found a way to soothe this beast. Nice. We discovered we must cleanse control points of all interference. Oh uh, well, about that. My duty as the director, like Northmore before me, I couldn't manage it in my own house, at my home. Oldest house. I damn well, do it here. I like how it's still, like the, the same three videos played over and over in the sky. Alive. We'd be sealed inside an endless labyrinth. No one would hear our screams. If an enemy ever managed to corrupt the control points, uh -oh. it'd be over fast, spreading like a cancer, leaping over the fire breaks like a crown of fire. They are the weak point. Darling was right about that. Why aren't they more guarded then? Else, dangerously wrong. Suspiciously wrong. Um, has he been compromised? Uh oh. What is he wrong about? Can you tell me? You know, Trench, as the new director at taking your place, and you know, as someone with zero experience in this whole director business, I feel like you should give me a little more specifics on that if you know you want me to be able to do this job. So the oldest house is a labyrinth, it just always changes, it's very unstable, but the control points soothe it. I think we kind of got that down, but yeah, now that we have Trench, it like super confirms it. Okay. I can hear the hotline ringing in my dreams, constantly ringing, ringing so loud I can't hear the voice I'm straining to understand. Why don't I pick up? It's a secure line of communication with the board. They would tell me what I need to know. Yeah, but they're not very specific about it. Their answers. Would they have warned me of this threat? The hiss. I see it coming. A traitor in our midst. Traitor. Conspiracy plotted. There's a traitor. Somebody let out the hiss. I can't trust anyone. I must assume all my intel has been manipulated. The hotline is the only channel I can trust. Bind it. Control it. The rule and the ritual with objects of power. It can't be tampered with. The lifeline to the astral plane and the board. I must seek guidance. Who is the board? I'll rest first. I'm so tired. Always tired now. But I must reach the hotline. I think I'm under attack. An attack of dementia. Exhaustion. It's a brain cloud. Maybe Wait. I forget. Is that what was happening? The hotline. I must reach the hotline. Was that was that what was happening? That Director Trench needed to reach the hotline so he could contact the board about this threat, but then the hiss got to him first and then killed him. Is that what happened? Not this one. Ocean View Motel. The Ocean View Motel and Casino is a familiar friend to me. I stayed in countless motels like it while investigating AWEs across the country. What makes this one special? Those roadside motels all bleed together like a dream. Same and not the same. Anywhere and nowhere. That's kind of the thing about the ocean view backwater motels. Dream logic. Okay. The light switch cord leaks out to be found in the most unexpected places. And sometimes successfully encouraged to appear and act as a convenient lock to keep out those not trained in dreamscape navigation dreamscape excuse me it seems veterans can only find one key in the motel the key that opens the door marked with the inverted black pyramid but there are others the and nobody's found those the many other doors are still mysteries to us i see we're all merely guests there even the board sometimes i need to visit just to breathe easier for a while. It does it look it does it look a lot more welcoming than this place? Apartment I spend my nights in, insulated from everything but myself. I you know that's where the whiskey comes in. Okay. You are the director, Trench. You could just 
direct your entire team to go like, why isn't my office any prettier? <laughs> Make my office pretty again. Something's coming. The whispers growing louder. The shadows the getting deeper. <laughs> bureau history. Uh oh. Retribution for my sins. Our sins. What do you mean by that? This threat could destroy the bureau. Everything I've built. Destroy me. A web spun, turning this place against me. I catch glimpses of it in the corner of my eye. It's just out of reach. Elusive. It's clever. A perverse game of hide and seek. Is this part of the attack? Obfuscating the facts. Dimming my eyes. It's He's hard. talking so quietly. <laughs> I need answers. I haven't heard back from Darling. I fear for my friend, my closest ally. I think we made a terrible mistake all those years ago. What is that mistake? The thing he studies is putting us all in danger. What is he studying? It's my duty. A specific object of power or objects safe. of power in general? It'll be difficult. What's done can't be undone. There's no easy fix. Magical thinking is a requirement for survival. Interesting. Pain and suffering are mandatory. Well, I don't really want to be certain about that. You have to break yourself. I don't know if I have the strength. I'm old and weak. I'm afraid. I can see my hands trembling. I'm losing control. Well, that's not very good for a director of the Bureau of Control, don't you think? I feel like control is the first thing that you want to have. Wait, is that why Trench isn't here anymore? Maybe not. So it's either that- okay, hold on, wait, no, before we fight, is it- it maybe it's either because the hiss got to Trench first, or maybe the gun realized that Trench was becoming, as he said, old and weak, and he was afraid, and the gun was like, you're not fit to be the director anymore, so the gun got to him, or the board, or whatever, something got to him, either because he wasn't worthy, or because the hiss got to him first, so it could be either of those. Hello? Oh! Oh, what was that? I think I accidentally exploded in front of myself. Okay. Well, it's a good thing to know the first death I have is mostly my fault. Oh, I respawned here. Wait. I don't think here anymore. I- I just skipped the entire fight scene. Nice. Do I still have my, uh... Still have my- my hotline? Yeah, I do. Huh. Okay, well... Cool. I just skipped all that. Wait. No, why am I running back? The control point is literally the it's the fast travel. Okay, uh, I could go to other places. Can I go back to dead letters? I wanna see if there's any level one clearance things. There definitely were that's level two. Any level one clearance around here I wasn't able to open before. Level two clearance. Oh hello! You're new. Do enemies around here? Oh my goodness! Out of here, bro. Who's there? Okay, I need to use a flying attack on you. Where are you? Oh wait, that's the control point thingy. Uh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, darling. Who else is there? Hello? Hello? Oh, there you are. I just missed those shots. And... Oh. Okay, oh, oh my goodness, there's so many of you. Not all of them. Hello? Fire extinguisher. Oh, put out the fire. Bang. Nice. Oh. Nice. Beautiful. Okay. There we go. Okay, but I'm, I'm just here looking for some clearance options. Anything on clearance around here? Does it say? No. Okay, it's only level two. Okay, I know for a fact there were level one clearance over in the central executive by the entrance of the, of the building where, like, where we came in for the first time from the elevator. What is up with that pyramid? 
Did somebody request that the pyramid be built? Okay, we should, yeah, go back through the cafeteria. Yes! Okay, there's one here. I know there are more, but this one first. Bang! Any files that I can look at? No? Okay. Keep going. I know there's a lot more for me to find. Wait, shelter? Have I not opened this yet? Max occupancy, six persons. Oh, oh! Well, I was gonna ask why is it only six people when there's so many, there's so much space here, but... What are you? Oh... Oh, crap! Don't go there! Okay... Oh, wait. What's up there? What? Why am I able to... What? How do I get up there? What? There's something up there. You see that? But it's like, it's like showing me that there's a thing. How do I, how do I go there? And I like... Huh. Oh, I can! <gasps> yes! Oh my goodness. Nice. Shut up. Shush. Get out of here. Did I not notice these things before? Apparently not. Shatter recoil efficiency. I don't have shatter yet. Okay, travel. Travel costs. Visited the following Nevada accommodations. Desert Sun. Any of those Ocean View? No, Ocean View is uh, in Montana, I think. Accommodation, meals, gasoline, minibar. Is the Ocean View in Montana? No, the Butte thing is in Montana, I think. The Ocean View itself, they're looking for it. I'm going to request to give us a budget to get two rooms each night. I'm very tired of sleeping in the same room. The boys and research have performing rituals may ha help identify any place's power. Drinking those little whiskeys is my ritual. Great. Good to know. I'm going to look for some more. Oh, hi. Oh, hello. Bang. Oh, my goodness. Okay, director's office this way. Yeah, I was going the wrong way. Okay, director's office this way. Okay, director's office. Is there something here? Oh, another tape. Reminder, if you experience an unanticipated building shift, follow these simple steps. Okay. One, search the room for any altered items or objects of power. Two, carry the altered item or object of power to the nearest safe room. Safe room. Three, wait for bureau staff to find you and the object. If there okay. are no altered items or objects of power in the vicinity, then reach your supervisor via the nearest intercom and await further instructions. Thank you for your attention. Okie dokie. Something nice and easy. I remember there was another clearance thing over here. It's like one of the first things I noticed. Yo. Beep. Alright, what's over here? Agent death notification. Mr. and Mrs. Potts. Your son, Grand Potts, was killed in active duty. While the details are classified, I want to tell you he died in service this country. <laughs> There's... I simply regret the pain. I sincerely regret. Was regret one of the words that was not to be used in the other letter? It doesn't say sorry, but... It does say regret. He will be remembered. He sacrificed to protect the country. His effects will be returned to you with all speed. Chief of Communications. So this is the old Chief of Communications. Weapon mods. Oh, I got a new one. Increased rate of fire. Let's try that out. Yeah, that is actually a little bit faster. Just a little bit, though. Oh, this is a direct path to Central Executive. Wow, I should have known about that. That was so easy. Okay, nice. Bang. <laughs> Why did I go the long way around? Okay, clearance four. Bro, I'm the director. How do I not have the highest level clearance in this building? What? How does that even make sense? Okay. Well, there's more items for me to find, so let's go read them. Collective Unconscious. Collective Unconscious is defined as a form of a conscious that is shared in all human minds. So like a hive mind that we're not aware of. Arises unconscious knowledge linking up to our ancestral heritage. Through this conscience, uh, we unknowingly a attribute a series of energies and archetypes. Archetypes are never fixed, but the change would shift and change in tandem with species and culture. I see. This eternal belief in the power of images shared by a massive population is blank in the creation it's probably vital to the in the creation of those things sheer amount of maybe like i don't know spiritual energy or whatever it exuded uh is attracted to the best representation of that image ah i see so if enough people if like millions or billions of people 
all believe that an object has power, then the object starts to have power. I think is what this is saying. So the collective unconscious is that something that all the people on the world share. If the idea of something has enough weight to it, then it will start to gain power. Maybe that's why they don't allow like branded items in here. Everything has to be like generic, right? Okay, that makes sense. Emily should be in here. The the boardroom. Ah, uh, the the boardroom. Like the boardroom, or just the boardroom, or like the boardroom. Did you get the hotline? I mean, how is it yep. out there? The comms, the hits. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, you made it. I'm glad. Emily. Don't worry. Let's talk. Of course. Let's do it, Emily. I got the hotline. I can make out what Trench is saying now. Incredible. What did he say? He talked about his management team. People who knew the Bureau of Secrets. Your boss, darling. Tomasi, but he's gone. He has gone. Oh. Salvador? He's the head of security. And Marshall? Helen Marshall is head of operations. She's tough, ex-CIA. She took her rangers and went to the research sector to secure the HRA production. Oh, she's, she hasn't come back. She might still be alive. Someone who could help us. The other sectors. How do I get there? It's impossible because of the internal lockdown. You can perform a directorial override to lift it, but that can only be done in the maintenance sector. Normally, you take the sector elevator down there. It connects all the sectors, but it won't work while the lockdown is in effect. The sector C test labs. We already got past one lockdown. Yeah. Maybe I can find the way. As the director, you probably will. Jesse, look, with no prep, no training, in this extreme situation, you are doing phenomenally well. And all that and the hiss can't seem to affect you. I mean, I would love to run some tests on you. If you agree, that is. We could find out something that would help us. Tests? That's true. Like, like, what, like the SAT? She might find out about you. Would that be bad? But I wouldn't mind understanding more myself. Fair enough. Okay. If you think it will help. Great. Ooh. I'll check the internal documentation for any lockdown bypasses. We All need right. to get these sectors open to locate Darling and Marshall. And I'll look for a way inside the maintenance sector. The sooner we find one, the sooner I reach this override. Oh. Big building. Look how old this house is. It's pretty old and big. It's called the big house. Oh, that's her. You see anything over there? Did I bring the hotline with me? Hi, Ati. What's up? I haven't seen you in a while. Oh, maintenance. Yeah, that it would make sense that he's in maintenance. <laughs> Oh, what's hip happening in here with all the smokies? Oh, what is that? The Nisk O2. What is that? What is that? Oh. Or oh, countermeasures. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, I just got a ton of things. Directorial override. Okay. Well, I'll uh, have to go check those out later because I'm going to be stopping this part one of control. So, yeah, I learned a lot today. I mean, there's still so much more that I have to learn, but I already know a lot about the world in just my first, like, two hours of playing this. So, I like the game a lot. It's very fun, even though I'm <laughs> kind of sleepy. And I still understand what's going on, so I need to make sure that I remember to read all my memos the next time we play this, but it's okay. I'm sure I'll remember, and I'll probably have questions to ask, so I'll be consulting those things anyway. Thank you very much for watching. This has been Control and me, Shogi, and goodbye. I'll see you later, y'all.